prepare for rivals. Right, let's see what goes down here then, shall we? So, Wild Blood are now attacking. It looks like they've both teams have got basically the same heroes out. Yeah, it looks like both teams have got pretty much the exact same heroes. The defenders have got six sets of cavalry. Impact might sell here. They've all started at A, and they've got like six guys with cavalry, and they've got a lot of guys with berserkers as well. We might see a quick sally out. From a sports. They've got a very aggressive setup. I mean, on this map, a lot of people spawn and then pull back to the middle point, but normally you just start at the middle point as well. So it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see how, what they do here, but I would not be surprised to see Impact Esports do a Sally out now. Uh, I didn't see what the units Wild Blood had, so I'll try getting into the air as quickly as I can. Yeah, they're going to Sally out. They're going to Sally out. So Wild Blood have got a decent amount of anti cavalry. They've got sons of Fenrir and stuff as well. Have they seen it though? They're already outside. There is no Treb coming in, so they were not ready for that. Treb's coming down now, but that's not going to hit much, I don't think. No, they're already out. This is a very similar um, move to how Blame Elias did it. Although they're now going straight onto the point because there's just heroes there and there are absolutely no units. Impact these spots here. It looks like they're going to. Better do what the hell they want here. Look, they've got cavalry coming from all over the place. A couple of Armigas or something getting caught here. It's not really the end of the world. That's only one IPG walk. There's another IPG walk to contend with, or two even. And then they can just start rough shotting from every single direction that they feel like and start ruining stuff. So this unit's walked, it's now dead. Cavalry coming from everywhere. Gary at the back here still firing in though. Multiple enemy heroes or the attacking heroes dead. They're down now down to eight. So this has already worked out for, for Impact Esports. I wonder if they... That's a good... That could be a good trip. That was pretty... But I wonder if Impact will just pull back inside now. Yeah, there's... There they go. Um, definitely did work there, man. 220 units killed from the attackers, only 96 only. Well, 96 lost from the defenders. Um, the defenders lost mainly cavalry, obviously, although they did come out with berserkers and some other infantry as well. They are now all pulling back. They've 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 man managed to slow them down. Uh, they basically wiped what the whole team. Most of the teams died once from the attackers. Only one of the defenders has died so far, which is huge, obviously, because this is only the CBL rules map. Um, so rough times. <laughs> Rough times for Wild Blood and Retro. Thank you very much for the follow, my guy. Much appreciated. So, last vestiges of the attacking Sally out being killed here. Probably a couple of berserkers or something. Just getting murdered. There are still obviously the artillery fire going off now into the big blob down here. There was blister going off just in cannon shots as well. So they're still going to be able to do damage on the attackers. Looks like though the impact are already pulling back from me. I honestly then that defending A is defending A is a risk. I wonder if they're just getting new units and they're actually just gonna get infantry and go back up to A now. Or if they're gonna leave it. There's a few guys pulling up out berserk because they possibly might come up to A. Okay, no, they're definitely thanks to the last guy from from Pack these spots who's already pulling back. And again, guys, um, I have no clue what you're writing in Turkish. <laughs> I think that's Turkish, at least. Um, I, I only understand English and German. And those two barely, so apologies for not reacting to the, to the Turkishness in chat. I hope it's some at least some good insults going on. Otherwise, I'd be disappointed. <laughs> right, so A is about to be capped. 
I would definitely say Impact. They've got less units, but they've got more high quality units looking at it. Um, they've obviously lost a little less units as well, so it's going to be interesting to see. They are mainly concentrated on the sea and supply side. I think it's because they've got guys up here anyway, so they can see rotations going off. It looks like Wildblood's actually going to go for the resupply on the B side as well, at least with a, a five map. Three of the defenders down on B, although Jewel Blade's going up on the thing, probably just get a little scout off. Um, a good chunk as well on the C side stairs here. But I, I like what, what uh, Impact Esports are doing here. They've got a couple of guys up on the up on the tower. They're on their horses, so no more can just grab them and re-ank them off. They've got good vision all along this wall, so they can see exactly where all the units have gone. The Jewel Blade that went up on the wall has been caught out and killed, fortunately. Call me Shuller has disconnected, but again, it's too late in the match to reset, so they're just going to have to hope that he can re-log back in. They've still got nine minutes, though, so they've got more than enough time. They just need to, like, whatever plan they've made, they need to stick to it. They've got a lot of infantry out. It probably looks like they're going to go for this middle staircase and then try swinging around for B, maybe, or maybe go straight for the fly. Push coming on the seaside stairs now. They've still got 13 trebuchets as well. Obviously, if they fight on the stairs, they're not actually going to be able to treb anything, but it looks like Impact, they're probably going to pull back from that. Impact do have one set of archers. It looks like Incendiary. Are they at the bottom here? Done. Treb coming in now. Not the best place. Oh, here's the, uh, the absolutely The archers are back. So loads of players up on the wall here, but you can see them move down, so it's not really that much of a problem. Those Falconetti shots though, are actually decent. Can they reach over here? If they can hit this blob here, defending Falconettis can hit right up to the top as well, so that's actually really well placed. They're going to be able to do damage if they can just like just skip the top of the stairs, which it looks like they're doing. And if they push over, all they need to do is move the, the, the aim point down and they'll be able to hit that for days. And I don't think these guys have actually got the range hit over here properly, do they? Interesting. There's no attackers coming this way. They're all just up on the walls or up on this wall. Feels like wild blood getting caught out just... Oh, they're going to push down for the supply here, look. They're probably going to try timing it at the, uh, at the same time, so this push and this push can hit at the same time, so they have to split off what they're going to do. Um, there are a number of the defending heroes going up on the wall behind them, but with no units. I wonder if they're just going to try and sneak the supply. They have to be quick though, because if they're not in the fight, they're going to leave it like how it was just on the attack when Impact were attacking, and Wildbloods didn't have the, the unit or the heroes there to do stuff. It's just small talk, Rocket. There's no insults. Disappoint. <laughs> Who won the first game by the Alex? It was Impact Esports. Impact Esports won their attack. And now they sallied out on their defense as well. So they've got off to a good start on this defense. This push looks pretty solid though so far. Maybe it could be a little bit more blobbed up on the actual move of units. Concentration from the defenders is actually to defend C, which means they can get on the they can get on the C really easily. The supply they're defending the supply, but they've let them get C. There's nothing in the back lines here to get around. They've just got a big chunk of units here. Obviously, they're going to lose a lot of units here if, when they get pushed. But it looks like they're going to be able to take C. And if they take C, they can go straight for the end point, which means defending B is going to be pointless. The shield unit should be more straight on, though. They can just get around the side, look, with the Iron Reapers and stuff. Good Treb coming in now. They're still capping. They should have had three heroes on this from the beginning, so they cap it quicker. But they've, they've done it now. Um, the attackers have lost a couple of heroes. They are getting pushed back on the middle wall as well. These guys should maybe think about just running back. They are going to get C. The defenders have got a couple of guys back here, but if... Oh, he's just managed to get... Okay, got Berserkers behind him. Hive maybe should have just gone straight for base point. As soon as you've seen the guy there, you should have maybe just gone this way straight to base and start putting pressure upon the base point already. Big Brawl still going off in the corner here. Again... Flame is doing work though. That treb on the pretty decent blob as well is going to be difficult to deal with. Got a number of the attacking heroes jumping on these Falconettis in the back as well doing work. Cataphracts coming in from behind so they've cleared up the push. The defenders have cleared up the push but now they have to defend B and base. 
still eight minutes left on the match. 500 units lost from the attackers, 253 from the defenders. So the defenders are still doing better there. They've won both of the engagements they've, they've chosen to take so far. Now they are losing ba base cap points, though. Obviously, Atomic's not going to be able to actually hold on here. He's got a, a musket. If he just jumps off and picks that musket up, though, delivers him over here to a couple of his allies. Atomic's going to have to try and get away without dying, though. I'm going to check the, the death real quick. So, 19 to 5. So, there is a lot of players on Wild Blood. If they die one more time, they're out. A lot of players on Wild Blood. I think this being... I think this being the CBL rules map is actually going to mean that Wild Blood, even though they've just lost C, and they're probably going to end up giving up B, I would have thought. Although they're not, they're just going for hero kills. I think they've just, they've basically their plan is to give up sections of the map if and when they need to, but every engagement they take, they make sure they win and get as many hero kills out as possible. Seems to be their strat. Kill 12 heroes outside, yeah. Yeah, they've done they've done work so far the whole battle as well. They've got um like I said, every single engagement so far they've won. They've definitely got more um they've definitely killed more heroes than the attackers have. This blob here is not good for the attackers, especially not at the bottom of the stairs with Falcon is going off, cavalry coming across, IPG walks going in. Them Falconettis just pounding the bottom of the staircase while doing work, man. Uh, they are starting to get a little bit of a cap off on B, but they can get hit from loads of different directions here, so it's going to be difficult to deal with. And even if they would lose B, because so many of the heroes have died from Wild Blood, they're going to start hemorrhaging heroes soon. And if they haven't been able to use all of their units today, them flames from the defenders doing absolute work there as well. They've crushed the main push down the staircase and the majority of them have rotated around to B to stop the B push as well. Three more of the heroes have died from Wild Blood. Ivan coming through the back here, I think, with Cataphract. So I don't think he's going to do too much work. Although a lot of the units that he's now going to be running through... Oh, they got stopped by a couple of the heroes. Okay. Good idea from Ivan, but I think it's a little too late. I think a few of the Wild Blood heroes now have died three times as well, so they can't actually do anything. Yes, yeah, so we've got um, Cecilia, you're done. Both out of the map. Both died too many times and no longer... And no longer participate. Like, they really need to sort this out, though, so that you can have custom lobbies with more than 30 players in without having CBL rules. Because I think this map, with the normal rules that we've been having for the league, would actually play a lot different. Wow. So, the attackers now, let's have a look again on the link. 29, none of the defenders, sorry. Oh no, one guy, Offros, has died three times. Everybody else has been good. So, Offros, you shit, you sack. Uh, I think it's time for, <laughs> for Impact to get a new player. <laughs> Everybody else has done their job. Offros, like, nah, boys, I'm dying tonight. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I think Wild Blood's out of the game, though. They're waiting for the last respawns now, but again, unless, like, even more have died. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six of them have completely out the fight. So they're, they're basically out with now. It's GG. Um, it must have been the last time I looked because they were still loading, and it, like it says with the resupply, like the, the, the time that they get back in, it doesn't automatically update on here. Um, but there's at least six of them that are completely out of the fight, so... GG, man. As soon as uh, Impact realise that they outnumber them, they're just going to push in and start murdering them. Like, this little four-man push here is not going to go down well. There's just not enough units, not enough heroes. And I think we'll just see Impact Esports swarm them now and absolutely delete them from the map. And Zozo, why are Cataphracts in the game now? Um, they got buffed, didn't they? Um, as you saw, the white glow just pop off just as we speak there. If you push the two ability... And it's like a cover the commander, so you run ahead of them, push the two ability in. Like, if you get a decent enough distance away for when they do it, they basically get, like, two stages of this de defensive buff, if you like. 
and they can run through almost anything. Like they can run straight through the front of a, of, uh, a brace fort bracket if they get all of their defense buff stuff. Um, they still get stopped, obviously, by a um, IPG walk and like uh, a belly flop from from short swords and stuff. But um, if they don't get seen, they can absolutely ruin stuff, man. So. Wild players now leaving the fight. There's nothing they can do though, man. Like that's why the we we asked them last season. Look, this is a problem with the the custom maps. Can you get Dasu Fort uh, Dasu Fort sorted? Um, obviously, my games aren't the guys that actually deal with the game. They're just like a publisher. Um, so they have to ask Booming Tech to to sort it out as well. And it's it's probably just not a priority for them. So they didn't bother, which is the shame. Um, I think there's talk of maybe next season not using this map, like next next CBR season, because it's just not not the best. Uh, Ghost of HK, which house is Impact Esports and EU one? I have no clue, my guy. No clue. Man. Ghost of, thank you for the followers on, my guy. It's Kebabs, is it? Okay, I didn't know that. So Kebabs have actually got two teams in. <laughs> Oops. Right. That was uh, very impressive, though, from Impact Esports. Very well played. Definitely, apart from the one guy, everyone looking after the lives really well. So, off for us. Terrible. <laughs> Clearly worse than Deader. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point, though. Like, the play-ins uh, by the Alex is so that when, obviously, Newton teams come, you have no clue how good teams are. Uh, that they have to start at the, the bottom league and then work their way through. And obviously, if they're good enough, then they will rise. Um, if, the, if they're not, then they won't. Yeah. So, Bird of Quinn, this is just unfortunately this map. Like I said before, this is... Um, it's be We've raised it. We've raised it to my games, but it's not my games that would change it. If they could, they would. Um, it's, it's booming, unfortunately. Right, so MVP for the attacking team, Wildblood, 1-3, 136. I mean, look at the unit kills, man. They just got, they got absolutely stomped. They got stopped in every, like, everything they tried to do in, they got stopped. They obviously had to react to the, the Sally out right at the beginning of the game. I don't think they were expecting it. They didn't even have a Treb going off straight away. Like, um, I've been in a couple of the, like, from, from last season as well, and this season, I've been in a couple of scrims. And we always have, like, a guy, when I've been involved in scrims, that is his job is, you fucking get into a position as soon as possible and have a fucking treb on gate. If you see the gate open, you fucking click, get the treb going down. Um, they just were not ready. They were not ready for a sally out. And that's the reason, yeah. So if you didn't have, if we had a normal rule set, you could have no.